This is our new P6000 array, just released yesterday. Form factor is very similar to our 4400, so you have the same enclosure. But what's new? Small form factor drive and, uh, and our large form factor drive is still not available. The back end has gone to 6 gigabit SAS. When we have passed, it was 5 or 10, so if you're used to our 44, 6400 line. That's the same. Those are both fiber channels. So now your SAS on the back end. We've got nine capacity points right off the start for the first release, so we feel we can hit just about anybody's needs from 15 K speeds to 7.2 K speeds. What are the biggest capacity drives? The largest capacity drives are your large form factors, and that's a 2 terabyte 7.2 kilobyte speed. Right. Okay. So the max number of drives you can put in this environment on the large form factor is uh, 240 drives, which will give you a 480 terabyte footprint. Wow. The other option is to go to the small form factor. You can put up 18 shelves, and you can do 450 small form factor drives. So that's more like the 6400 uh, used to be. So the 6400 um, and the 8400, 8400 tops out at 324 large right. form factor drives. Right. So you've got a much denser footprint. You've got a much better energy efficiency, right? Smaller That's what drive, it's all about, of course. It's going yeah. to spin better. The other big change is both on the shelves and the controller, we're using a new power supply. It's about 40% more efficient than the current EVA. So you're going to get a much better product when it comes to power consumption here than you have in the past. You got a lot more disks, so you need every savings you can get. Big new software features that came out. Thin provisioning is available with your base licensing. So when you so get it's your, a free license. Actually. So it is a free license. That's correct. The other major change is dynamic LUN and V-RAID migration. It utilizes the business copy license under it, so it does allow you to migrate from one V-RAID type to another. Or one disk group to another, but again, it requires the business copy license on the What do you mean by dynamic? Uh, so it dynamic, it automatically or? So it, it, it's not automatic, but it is manageable by the customer themselves. You can manage it from a V-disk without any Miraclone, or you can manage it from the Miraclone itself. And can you go between groups? Uh, if you, like? you can go between groups, and you can go between V-ray types. And also V-ray types between groups. So. Okay. The bottom line is that if you find a customer and you find somebody who says, oh, I need 15K accessibility, and then you monitor and realize they're barely touching the V-disc, you can move them over to what we call our midline, and the midline is a 7.2K speed. Your large lungs now will also support a snapshot. It's a, it's a bit the previous version didn't support the snapshot, so you'll get that also. Uh, Command View 9.4 is what manages both P6500 and 6500 and your X we have integrated to 4400 or 6400 and 8400. The other thing is that all of those models also get a new firmware. So you get advantage when you get the information. So even the older models will have the same functionality. That's right. So 4400, 6400, and 8400. Now obviously you can't go to the small form factor drives because it's SAS back end. Right. But you do get the advantage of the new functionality. there. Absolutely. So what would you advise if a customer would have, let's say, all the kind of EVA stories, like 4,000 or 6,000? So the 4,000 and the 6,000, the P6300 is, so there's two models, the P6300 and the P6500, is going to be very close to what you're running capacity for the wise. Probably large. The big difference is that you can take a major jump in performance. So the performance delta from the 4,000, 6,000 series is substantial. The 6,400 and 8,400 were, were better, but not a great leap. But the 4,400 and all the 4,000, 6,000, 8,000, about a 60 to 70 percent of it. More for less money? So it's SAS. So by definition, it's going to be a little cheaper. I won't say a lot cheaper, but I'm going to say it's, much, it's priced more moderately. Okay. So anytime you move from fiber channel to SAS, you're going to get that advantage. Okay. Um, I don't have price codes off the top of my head, sorry. But. Okay, Daryl, thank you very much for this uh, pitch, and thank you very much.